From the very beginning, Vigo was different. I know this because I'm his older brother. Older by six years. I'm certain his age difference creates a gap between us. Even that aside, we always seem like years apart. His imagination has limitless potential. He can be almost anything at any moment. I noticed some things in Vico that mystify me. His conversations and arguments have no beginning or end. He's more keen on tugging at the fabric of all convention. He's challenging the world I live in. He's demanding that I do things differently. Vigo is often elsewhere. He can be a train or inside a car wash. He's sometimes mesmerized by noise. But Vigo is not concerned with sound alone. He's fixated on these things on a far deeper level. transforms himself and takes on a role. Sometimes a lack of words can be an articulation. The sound of a train rolling over a jointed rail. I'm constantly trying to understand him better. I want to get inside his head, as impossible as that may seem. Often in the winter, Vigo drags his sled through the snow. The casual viewer will remark that he has no set direction. He never actually sleds nor are there any hills in sight. If only they knew that he loves making tracks behind him in the snow. Hey! It amuses me when outside assumptions are turned on their head. Vigo offers me something that is missing from the world. That being said, once I'm in Vigo's realm, it is easy to feel like a prisoner. I spent countless hours helping Vigo film car washes and trains at home. The attention that he requires is tremendous. The pressure of being Vigo's brother is equally so. He makes me feel the need to apply myself in his absence. Those thoughts swirl around in my mind, not to mention the question of who he is. I know that Vigo will continue to shock and surprise me. There is something valiant in his isolation. 
The way he views the world will always defy my illusions of predictability and absoluteness. I feel blessed to know him. He inspires me to think of the world in different terms. His happiness has made me see joy in the most unexpected places. Nowadays, when I see a train, I smile.